to start recording our song. The screen information on the left hand side, you'll see the names of the instruments that correspond to the sounds that the pads are going to make. And you'll see the pad light up when you press that instrument. And the pads. At the top of the display, you have your track information, so this is track one using the London instrument and we know the scene or the section is called intro. We can see the bar information, so we see bar one and bar two and underneath that we can see the subdivisions of the beats within the bar. So 1.1 is bar one, beat one, 1.2 is bar one, beat two and so on. The left hand side of the screen we see the right enable mode Make sure that's turned on. We can now record a song by step input, which means we just simply tap on the screen where we want our sound to happen. And as the blocks appear, that represents where we're going to have a sound. To hear the sound, we just press the play, which is the triangle button, down the bottom of the screen. So another way to record onto your phone is by using a MIDI controller such as the Korg NanoKey Studio as shown here. This is a great device because it's Bluetooth, so no wires, and easy to set up just by following the manufacturer's instructions. So the first thing you might want to do is to set your tempo. So on your phone, tap the tempo button and then tap in your tempo. Make sure the metronome light is turned on and that way you'll get a click track to help you record. Press the round button to arm your phone for recording and then you press the play button which will give you a one bar count in. Then you can play along to the beat. As the software is looping, you can play your instruments and build a good track. So now you've completed your drum track, we're now ready to add some other tracks and maybe some other sections to the song. So now, to add the other tracks, we click on the back arrow at the top of the screen. This will take us to our home screen, which is also our playing screen. To add another instrument, we add, press the plus button, the display area, black display area. So the list will come up again. Let's go for the Marseille synthesizer sound. And now in the same way, we we'll click on the new instrument icon. And once again, we're ready to record our sound either by step input or through real time. Okay, so now you've recorded your chords, or it could be your bass line or any other part of the song that you like uh, on the second track we can start adding to the rest of the song by creating other sections or other scenes as they're known as in this app. So if you click the back arrow at the top of the screen, we'll go back to our play screen. Of course we can play the music that we've heard so far just by pressing the play button down the bottom. Or of course we can click the play back for each scene if we wish. But for now we're going to add another section or another scene. So press the blue plus sign and your section 2 will appear. Of course we can label it just like we did the first time. And so if we go to the function button, 
click on where it says four, 4 times 1 and then we can give it a name something like verse or chorus depends what you're going to call it press the function button we now have our introduction and our verse ready to record and we can record the verse in very much the same way as we did the introduction. So if we click now on track one in the verse section of the song, we're now ready to record the drum track in this example for our new song for the verse. And in the same way we can keep on adding tracks until our song is complete and we can add different sections until our song is finished. And this concludes this tutorial video on using Gadget App and the uh, NanoKey Studio. I hope you've enjoyed watching this.